from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, another day of cooling showers in Acadiana and prospects of those showers and thunder showers will continue over the next couple of days. But as the week wears on, rain chances heading down, temperatures will get a little bit hotter, but uh, thankfully we're not talking those extreme temperatures that we saw uh, going back to last month. So here's a quick look at the satellite radar composite, and we actually have a little bit of a disturbance off to our east. Uh, you can see that's where showers and storms today have been most prevalent, but um, still here in Acadiana, once we got the sea breeze going uh, mid late this morning, did help to generate the scattering of some showers uh, and storms, and uh, most of which have pretty much just settled down. But what we'll have to watch for is the tail end of this disturbance uh, could clip us a little bit later on this evening. That has been uh, generating additional shower and storm activity across Sinla uh, early this evening. But meanwhile, here locally again, Power Doppler 3, pretty quiet for now. One uh, isolated shower pretty much raining itself out across Upper St. Martin Parish just push, uh, push through the Bro Bridge Parks area. But again, this is very light in nature and that'll continue to push uh, into the HF lie here over the next several uh, minutes. So it doesn't look like we'll see too many major issues over the next couple of hours. Again, we'll have to see if additional activity uh, tries to sneak into the area later on this evening as the high resolution rapid refresh model was showing. So at least some rain chances through about one, two and o'clock in the morning, but thereafter should be settling down. Temperatures mild otherwise upper seven to lower 80s. That's where we'll start the day tomorrow, and then we'll see a pretty similar pattern uh, tomorrow like we saw this weekend. Partly to mostly cloudy skies. That'll help limit our temperatures to the upper 80s and lower 90s, and I think we'll see a scattering of primarily afternoon showers and storms, and like today, some of those uh, storms could be on the hefty side, producing some heavy rainfall and quite a bit of lightning, so rain chances will sit at around 50 to 60 percent. Then we'll kind of rinse and repeat into Tuesday. We'll start out near 80 with uh, additional activity possible uh, Tuesday afternoon with your high temperatures continuing to sneak into the lower 90s. That's where we should be for the time of year, but that's going to start to change as the week wears on. I'll show you that in just a second. Quickly out in the tropics, not a whole lot going on, honestly, across the tropical Atlantic. One area of disturbed weather here in the extreme northern Atlantic, that has about a 30% chance to develop into something subtropical in the days ahead, but uh, regardless, it's not going to be a concern for us. Now, as we take a look at the available atmospheric moisture in the days ahead. Notice we're going to have deep low level moisture in place over the next couple of days and with no cap in the atmosphere won't really take a whole lot to help generate a scattering of afternoon showers and storms. thus the 50 to 60 percent rain chance. But as the week wears on that deeper moisture is going to start to slide off to our east and that's going to lower our rain chances Wednesday through the upcoming week. And as a result, highs will be a little bit hotter. Uh, looks like mid maybe upper 90s in spots, but we're not going to be talking upper 90s to lower 100s that we saw going back to June. So at least some good news there. Meanwhile, readings in the short term eventually dropping into the upper 70s and lower 80s. That's where we'll start the day tomorrow. Most of us sneak into the lower 90s tomorrow afternoon under a partly, but at times mostly cloudy sky. 79 will be your projected uh, low temperature tonight. Again, we'll see if we uh, see additional activity trying to push through later on this evening, but not everyone is going to see that. Rain chances 30 to 40 percent. Tomorrow, 93, your projected high under, a, again, partly, but at times mostly cloudy sky. Trueview Sky doing a good job showing a scattering of some showers and thunder showers tomorrow afternoon. Rain chances at around 50 to 60 percent. That's where they will remain going into Tuesday. Highs will stay near normal over the next couple of days, upper 80s to lower 90s, but notice Wednesday through the end of the week and then into the weekend, rain chances on their way down as some drier air moves into Acadiana. As a result, high temperatures a little bit hotter, mid 90s for the most part, but extreme northern Acadiana could push the upper 90s on a couple of those days. And again, that pattern looks to stick with us at least through the upcoming weekend and early parts of next week as well. Well, that's a look at weather for now, but stay with us. We're going to have more news coming up after the break.